Hi, I'm Alex Juhant, and I am recording this from my beautiful bed and breakfast room at 24 East Main Street in Canton, New York. My talk today is about the repurposing of social media spaces, like my use of this YouTube video on my blog, projected on a screen at St. Lawrence University in Canton, New York, where it introduces my live academic talk in a room where most of us, I hope, are listening, and where I will then talk in person for another 40 or so minutes after this video is over, and probably over that time somewhat less of you will listen, and then we will interact. Although, of course, this video will live here forever, or at least for the long foreseeable future, and will be viewed by others for reasons and uses far outside my knowledge or control. Today I will talk in here and out there about repurposing social media spaces, such as this one, for the specific purposes of multidisciplinary and multimodal teaching and learning, as well as for its scholarship. It is my contention that these contemporary environments that quite easily hold and share the communicative objects of billions of internet users should also be holding and sharing the work of scholars, teachers, and students. After spending a great deal of time there or here, over the past few years, today I urge us to think about this repurposing as a two-way project that both recommits to the best of old places, like the brick and mortar classroom, or book, or lecture hall, while at the same time modeling careful and intentional interventions into the world's many new, open, and available digital spaces. Thus I start by being with you here, online and off, because I so represent inform my feminist commitment to engage in self-reflexive, situated critiques of the internet that model here the kind of culture I hope it to be, a place much like the liberal arts classroom or even perhaps a digital humanities lecture on teaching and learning and making at St. Lawrence University, a place that engages and embodies many of the ideals of high quality humanities pedagogy, collaboration, connections between the classroom and the world, intentional and ethical links between and within real and virtual experience and private and public knowledge, and a commitment to finding teaching and using the forms of literacy best suited for these places and practices. The doubling or mirroring I perform in and out of the room is an intentional self-referential form ideally suited to both critical internet studies and this talk about it that will at once argue and enact my position Engaged, situated pedagogy and research in the digital humanities demand new writing and speaking forms, as well as the presentational and publishing platforms to hold them. As I weave from video to blog to online book into the room and back again, I will perform what you have called in your digital humanities grant, different ways of being in the world and different worlds to be in. Of course, we also know there's only one world, and the digital humanities uses new tools to better understand it, move through it, make, con make connections within it, and perhaps even better it. So for now, I will leave the world of the internet so as to better interact with the people in Canton, to inhabit this humanities exchange with the communicative affordances which reach their fullest potential when we meet and talk in the fall.